today I've got you a little crooked <laughs> I'll go over here um I have a few things to show you uh let me see oh wait let me get this out of the way because I already showed that to you those here for now so uh I don't know what's been going on but I have been on an octopus kick don't know haven't got a clue but um I started making them and I had a problem stopping <laughs> so but that's okay because I'm going to be using them for a craft fair. If I do a craft fair this summer, then I'm going to be putting them in the craft fair, which is something I've never done before. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I made, I think I showed you guys. Oh, maybe I didn't show you. I don't, did I show you? I don't know. Um, I may have showed them online. No, I think I showed this one on my on my last video. I don't know anymore. Whoops. I I my brain is just out there. So, anyways, I made this one. I think I showed this one to you guys with the green eyes. Yeah. So I made that one. And then my friend said she wants one of these. So I was like, okay, fine. And then she said, Can you make one in purple? So I was like, yeah, okay. So I made that one. And it's got the green eyes. So that one, those belong to um, my friend. And I'm uh, dropping things. And then I started making a couple more. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. So I made this one. Green eyes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then I made this one, and this one has blue eyes. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> and then I made this one with lots of dots. I got that from a yarn bee. And it's got yellow eyes. And then I made this one from, I forgot to bring it in here, Bernat, nope, Ber, yeah, Bernat Premium, I think, in the gold, what is it, mustard color, it's black, it's got red eyes, and this one is going to be going to um, Amanda at Tap Mama Beb and the Bag Brigade. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you that um, she her son is part of a group uh, called Ugly Ugly Mother or something. It's not something something. <laughs> um, and she's going to be doing a craft fair in September, I think it is, for raising money for this group um it's a charity i believe and these are the group's colors so i bought the last two balls of Bernat that i found in the mustard color and i'm going to make a couple of these and then i don't know what else i'm going to make i have to figure that out <laughs> so um i have a couple of ideas but i'm not too sure yet I have to see how it works up in, in a different yarn before because I don't know if I can get any more of this yarn. So I'll have to see. But I thought he was cute. <laughs> so, yeah, so I made that. And then I started thinking of, of like there was something I've wanted to make. I've been wanting to make it for a while, for quite a while, actually. My hair's a mess. I dyed my hair, guys. My sister and I had a... Um, hair dyeing date yesterday so we dyed each other's hair <laughs> i'll show you a picture of that later <laughs> it's kind of funny actually um so anyway i i've been wanting to make one for a while ever since the nan's next knots um 
where uh, Jojo from, oh my God, Joe. <laughs> I'm so tired, I can't think. Um, Joe, oh my God, what is the name of your channel? <laughs> Oh, have you been away that long that I can't even think of your channel? Oh, for God's sakes. Joe's Web. Whoa. Holy cow. Okay. Joe has been away for a little while. <laughs> so, but anyways, I was thinking about making this. So I started making it and all of a sudden, pop, I look on YouTube and Joe came out with a video today. Um, I was shocked. I was just like, well, that was handing it up. So... <laughs> so <laughs> Hi, Joe. I hope maybe she's not even watching. I don't know. So anyways, they, she made snakes with the Nan's Next Knots. And so I was like, I want to make one. So I started making one. Are you ready for this, you guys? I just can't. I am. I'm just started it. So. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> Look at these eyes. Oh, you guys, I can't even. Now, these eyes are specialty eyes. These eyes come from a company uh, called um, Dark, well, Dark Side. It was called Dark Side Eyes, but. Um, I think it's Dark Side Crochet. Anyways, I'll leave their link down below. They're in the UK. The, all of their eyes are hand done, hand painted. Um, and they have a whole bunch of different types, right? And they all come in different, uh, with different funky names, all to do with the dark side. These were called Alchemy. Uh, and then they've got like Zombie. They've got... Oh, I got so many. Um, I had I bought these quite some time ago. Uh, I've got two pairs left, and then I'm gonna be having to order some more because these eyes are awesome. Now there is a learning curve with these eyes. I should have brought a set in. Hang on, let me go grab another set. Okay. Yeah, they're called Dark Side. Yeah. So here is some other ones. This is called Dark Rainbow. These are called Zombie Brains. And if you, I, I can't really get that close without, uh, no. But anyways, they are hand done. They're absolutely astonishing eyes. I love these eyes. But the thing is, there's a tool now I think that you can get to put these kind of eyes on. Come on, come off the card. I love the way they put these on a card, card stock. And then they write down what the names are. They're a really good company, you guys. And they've got like horns um, for the little amigurumi. If you're making a unicorn, they've got, oh, they've got so many things. It's so cool. So this is what they look like. This is how thick they are. Okay. Now, don't let that scare you because what happens with these eyes, here is the cap that goes with it. Okay. Now, when you put these in, they go right inside. Okay. Whoops. Um, I mean, you put them in this way, but I, if I push it, push it in, then I can't use it but you can see it goes right inside the the casing okay so when you push it through you, what you need to do is if you don't have the pro the proper tool to get these eyes on then you can use a pair of pliers and a hammer and this is what I did I went on my kitchen counter I put down um, a couple layers like I folded a, a, a tea towel a couple of times Put it down, put the eye, like put, put this in your fabric, right? Or in your crochet, put it down, put the cap on top, put the pliers on top of the, the cap, 
and then hammer it, okay? And the eye, th this side of the eye is gonna go into the cup, all right? And it's gonna be sealed in there good, like really good. It takes a little bit to get it going, get it in there, um, but once it's in, it's in, like big time. Uh, I love these eyes. Then what I do, I very carefully flip my work inside out. I take a lighter and I melt this piece a little bit. And then I take the hammer again and hammer it so that it's, you know, flattens out a little bit and then it really won't come out. Okay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so this is my snake. <laughs> It's, I think it's adorable, but anyway, um, so I'm going to do, I did five rows of the, well, I did, I held the black and the gray together and then I held, uh, I've got two of the gray held together, then two of the black held together, then two of the gray, and then I'm going to do this color again, right? I'm going to do the, the black and the red, uh, black and the gray together, and then I'm just going to keep alternating them and then hopefully... He will turn out really nice. I love the way this head turned out. I just, I think he's so cute. So cute. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I might put a little tongue on him. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But he's just my little buddy. <laughs> I started making the, the head and I'm crocheting and, and he's looking right at me. <laughs> he's like, hello. <laughs> I thought, wow, you got personality already. <laughs> But he was just so cute. So that's what I'm making. And with this, I'm using the Bernat Premium Black and the Worsted 8 Hirschners, uh Heathered for that. I'm so happy. I, I don't know how long I'm going to make it, but I'm going to make it pretty long, as long as I possibly can. So, but I mean, I should be able to get it pretty long because there's a lot of yardage in these. There's... Where's my glasses? There is, oh, and this is called Woodland. There is 226 grams, 484 yards. That's a lot of yarn, right? So there's, and then there's 339 meters, 360 yards in the Burnett Premium. So I think I'm gonna get, get a long, a very long snake out of that. <laughs> so this is for somebody special that doesn't know about it. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so at, while I was at my sister's, my sister's going gangbusters. My niece Michelle is ready, getting ready to pop. As some of you know, the new, new, um, yarn of bees out there. Hello. Thanks for joining me. Uh, you don't probably don't know, but my niece, um, is pregnant. She's uh, like three, two weeks, three weeks out from her due date, April 18th, I think it is, but she's already having Braxton Hicks. So I think she's going to be a lot like my daughter and she's going to be a couple weeks early. So she's on high alert right now, <clears throat> scared to death, absolutely panicking. <laughs> My sister's trying everything to calm her down, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we're, we're excited. Um, so anyways, we were at my sister's place and so my sister's been trying to keep her mind busy and trying to get things done before the baby comes. And one of them was... Uh, the wristlets that I showed you the other day and the um, cart handle covers that she did. Okay, well, she did a whole bunch, you guys. I mean, a whole bunch. A whole bunch. So, <laughs> so oh, here. Um, so she did these ones. It's a watermelon one. I love this. Look at this. But it's watermelons. 
Oh, everything's falling. Oh, crash. A few minutes later. Bracelets, right? So you can put your key fob on for your car. I don't have mine in here. Um, or you could put your other keys on it. Uh, and so that if you're a runner, if you're a bank teller, if you're, um, if you always have to have your keys on you, if you're a waitress, um, these are great because they're right here and you don't have to worry about, you know, um, losing them or having to dig for them if your hands are full. I'm not sure what's happening with my phone, but it keeps shutting off. So hopefully I can get through this video without it doing that again. Okay, so anyways, so these are great. So you'll never lose your keys. If George actually had had one of these on his wrist, he wouldn't have lost my car keys. My car, key, my car keys and my fob, gone. My spare ones, gone. So we have to pay to get a new one and it's not cheap. So anyways, these are great. Okay, so we've got a couple, a couple of the watermelon ones. We've got uh, a couple of plain yellow ones. Okay, we've got, these have, whoops, this one has little hollies on them. Uh, this one is a tie-dye, blue tie-dye. Okay. This one is um, more of those, the, sh um, the fronds. Is it the fronds? No, these are the seashells. Seashells, we've got a couple of those. Um, this is the anchors. We've got some more of the buffalo plaid. We've got some unicorns, rainbows and unicorns. We've got some more bees. Uh, we've got pink flowers, roses. We've got some more of the feathers. Uh, what else have we got here? This is, oh, this is a sheep. We've got sheep, counting sheep on here. <clears throat> uh, we've got um, gray, beige, and white tie-dye. Like paints, splotches, I guess it is. Uh, that's a repeat. That's a repeat. Um, we've got blue stars, blue, or white stars. I mean, <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, we've got yellow and green flowers. And I think that's it for now. I've, I mean, I've got repeats of them in here. So, okay. I think it's because my phone's at 45%. <laughs> so I just plugged it in and I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. <laughs> Yikes. All right. <clears throat> Next up is my niece's boyfriend. He has a whole bunch of 3D printers. And uh, that's one of the businesses that he does. And he made me a yarn bowl. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this the coolest? Holy, and it's a big one. It's a really big one because he knows that I like my big balls. No, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here's one of the, whoops, um, Karen Blossoms. And, oops. Try not to rip the um, the uh, label. Look at that. It fits in there perfectly. So, yeah. I just love it. There's lots of room left in there. <laughs> like, it's huge. So, yeah. So, that's... He started making those. 
Um, I'm going to see if there's something. Is another thing I have. I'm thinking about. I'm hoping he's going to be able to make. But look at this. I just love it. And I found out that he has been watching my channel. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> So, yeah, so he's one of our yarn of bees now. He wants to learn how to crochet, apparently. Like, what? <laughs> apparently, I inspired him to want to crochet. He found a, um, what is it, a hooded jacket that looks like chain mail or something. I want to see this. <laughs> but he wants one, so he wants to learn how to cro crochet it. So I'm thinking, that's pretty cool. So I just love this. Thank you so much, Dennis. Um, it's so cool. I mean, if you look at the, woo, isn't that funky? I just love that. <laughs> I love the feel of it. It's so cool. Like I would love to actually sit and watch a 3D printer and see what it, what it looks like when it works. Because I think that is just an amazing piece of technology. To be able to create something like this with a laser, it's just, it blows my mind. Like, I just, I don't understand the concept of it. Like, I don't understand how it all works. But, yeah, it's really neat. So, yeah. So, I'm hoping that he's going to be able to make some and I can um, put them on my Etsy page for him. Um, or if he has an Etsy page, uh, if I find out he has an Etsy page for it, then I will link that below. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I don't, I wonder how long it takes to make this. It's got to take like a day at least. Like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I just love this. Oh, yes. Okay. So now I have to clean off my um, my table beside my chair because I got a lot of crap on my table. Uh, it's all crochet related, of course. But um, yeah, so I got I got to make room for this. It's like holy man. Okay. So now let's get to the elephant in the room. All right. So this is my new uh, Jacob's Ladder sweater. This is a really thick sweater. I used, what did I use? What did I use? <laughs> oh, um, Serenity Chunky. Yes, I used, uh, both colors are Serenity Chunky. Um, I'll put the color here because I, I don't have the ball bands with me. Um, but I put a hood on them. Oh, oh, bring it over closer now that we're talking about it. Um, I've got, oh, it's a cropped one. And I've got the hoodie on it. Whoa. Okay, then. We'll do it that way. <laughs> Okay, don't fight me. Oh, Try to show you off. Stand up straight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Having a fight with my mannequin. Uh, I put the little toggles on them, like I showed uh, before. I forget what they're. I I put them. I linked them in uh, a different video, but um, actually, I think they're linked down below in my favorite Amazon um, pro products, <laughs> products. Uh, so yeah, it's linked down below. I believe I have a link for the U S site and the Canadian site. So yeah. Uh, but the hoodie, I did the hood the same way that I did my baby sweaters. So yeah, but it's really thick and cozy. I'm not sure what buttons I'm going to put on them yet because I did the buttonhole a little bit too big this time. Um, so I'm going to need fair size buttons to, yeah, I have, I have really long toggles. I might be able to use those. Otherwise I'm probably going to have to go to Fabricland or something and find 
some big chunky type buttons so but yeah it's really cozy really cozy and my sister tried it on and she was just like oh this is so nice and warm and cozy I'm like she says it's too short for me but you know but I mean a lot of people they like cropped kind of sweaters right so I personally am not a crop sweater person I have to have my stomach covered just a thing <laughs> so, so yeah oh, so that's done ow that's done um I am in the process of doing a tutorial for this not this particular sweater but a sweater exactly like it in a smaller weight yarn uh three to four weight yarn um it's going to take me a while to get that tutorial finished because it is a lot thinner um like it i think it's it's a, a heavy three i think and it's taking me forever so why i decided to do it in that i don't know but i did mm. i think it's because the yarn that i used was the colorama halo and that yarn right there and I got that yarn from Hirschner's and it's the yarn I can't pronounce but this is like a, a heavy three weight it's not four or five weight yarn <laughs> so yeah so it's gonna take me some time to get that done uh, but yeah so that's what I'm working on guys <laughs> I just finished this and then I just started working on this so yeah so I hope you guys are doing okay I will let you know ASAP if Michelle decides to pop and um, yeah I'm just so tired you guys <laughs> I've been stressed out. Uh, yeah, so anyways, okay, that's all I got for you today. So thanks for joining me, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, love you all. Bye. Bye.